Hi guys, this is Constipation Nation, and right here <laughs> we, <laughs> we have pepperoni pizza from Domino's, and breadsticks, and Coke. And ranch. Our topic for today is conspiracy theories. <laughs> so let's dig in. Uh, you want a piece? Yes, please. Mmm. <laughs> There's only one other mukbanger who we've seen do ranch with their pizza, so cheers. Enjoy. So what do you guys think about that Area 51? Well, love to a raid. I personally wish that they would have turned it into like a Coachella kind of thing, <laughs> like with an alien Coachella. I think a lot of people would have shown up for that. Can you go get me a roll of toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> Mm. I think, mm. personally, that Area 51 is like hiding all these crazy diseases in them and they're gonna release them for population control. Mm -hmm. Population control. Mm -hmm. 100%. I think people would have gotten like some secrets out of it, but there ain't nothing but aircraft at Area 51. Maybe everything that was there is just gone. They moved it to a different Area 52. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows about it yet, though. <laughs> Except us. True. So, what do you think your guys' favorite conspiracy theory is? You go first, Clay. My favorite conspiracy theory? Mm -hmm. 9-11. <laughs> Why? Like, what do you mean? Because I think it was an inside job. Oh. In the Pentagon. Mm. That shit's pretty sketch, too. Would you like to explain that for people who may not know? Well, I believe that there was some kind of C4 device on the Twin Towers. And there was like no plane parts in the Twin Towers. Mm. And for those of yeah. you that don't know, like there's a video where it shows the plane going into the building, but it like doesn't have any parts in it. Like none of the parts of the plane fell off in the building. The nose didn't come out of the mm -hmm. other side. Um, and they, there's one where the wing glitches. Yep. And they did a video of what it would look like if a plane went through a building going as fast as the ones that supposedly went through the Twin Towers did. And there's proof that not only would it immediately explode, but it would have come out the other end, at least parts of it. And there's a video where there's no parts coming out of it. I just think that happened because America didn't have anything to talk about at the time. Mm. Nothing was going on. Oh, so good. Yeah, so we've been on a diet for like a couple weeks now and haven't had any junk food. So this is heaven. We tried a diet where all you could have was boiled eggs, oatmeal, and an apple, and green tea. And it was terrible. We gave up after three days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, you eat food you don't like and you're practically starving yourself. So we just decided it wasn't really worth the hunger pains or the eggs. Ooh, another I can't look at eggs anymore. I will physically get sick. What were you saying? The keto diet. Mm -hmm. I tried the keto diet. I must have did it completely wrong because I didn't lose any weight. I 100% cheated on the keto diet. <laughs> I called my husband in the middle of the night, crying, telling him how hungry I was, and all it took for him to say was, well, go make yourself some food, and that was all it took to convince me to eat, like, a mound of waffles and syrup. Mm. Actually, you had Domino's. And waffles. <laughs> mm. 
is good. I haven't had Domino's right. in a long time. Your favorite? Mm. I don't know if it's like particularly my favorite. I don't know if I have a favorite, but one of the ones that freaks me out the most is the um what's it called? The messages in the TV. Oh. Subliminal messaging. Subliminal messaging. Yeah, I think those are really freaky. So <clears throat> subliminal messaging is basically where there's they're trying to get a message across in a lot of kids shows actually um and they think that it's to get your kids to do certain things or think certain things like there's a lot of old cartoons that have them shooting themselves <laughs> yeah like it seems like there's a lot of subliminal mes messages about like suicide and um they're mostly on kids shows which is insane so some of the ones i can think of like, off the top of my head are like spongebob i don't know if anyone watches spongebob anymore but um there's an episode where squidward throws a rope over something and it makes it look like he's gonna hang himself and then it pans out into a different scene uh, have you seen that episode yeah it's bad he was like i just can't seem to get happy but it was like proven, <laughs> it was proven not to be like that because i think he was like hanging something up yeah but the fact that they made it look as if he was going to hang himself and then and then made it saying that. Cut. Yeah. Oh. But I guess another one of my favorites, probably the one that interests me the most, the most is um, the cloning, mm. which is where they say like celebrities have oh. clones of themselves or like, I don't know, one that like really blows my mind is the one with Britney Spears. If you ever go. Um, look up Britney Spears randomly. Just type in, like, Britney Spears singing voice and then listen to one of her songs and her real singing voice and you can really tell the difference. And um, definitely look up, like, conspiracy theories on her because they're pretty crazy. And Beyonce. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and Beyonce. <laughs> anyway, what's your favorite? Mm. I love... Talking about MK Ultra, but then that's not a conspiracy because that's actually real. Um, hmm. I don't know. I've just watched so many, it's hard to pick one. Sorry, I'm also feeding my husband off the camera, so <clears throat> MK Ultra. Yeah, but that's not a conspiracy theory. Aliens, the Illuminati. Oh my god, the Illuminati is so interesting. Mm -hmm. Ugh. Like, what do you think goes on by, behind the doors? Some scary crap, definitely. Like, a lot of celebrities, excuse me, a lot of celebrities you, like, like Kanye did at one of his concerts, and he tried talking about the Illuminati, it seems like all of them are scared. And, and then some, regret doing it. And then somehow they miraculously, like, as soon as they try to out the Illuminati or, like, post or give information that they're not supposed to, all of a sudden they disappear for, like, a day and come back and they're completely different people. There was a guy who, I forgot who he was, he was a famous person, and he was going to have this huge Illuminati party. And... He, like, I think he was trying to make fun of it or something. Mm -hmm. But then he died right before. Mm. It's crazy. Mm. Oh, no, no, I have mine. Okay. okay. One of my favorites. If, uh, I don't know, this one's probably not very popular, but the 27 Club. I have no very idea what interesting. That is. Wow. Okay. So there's a bunch of celebrities that died at 27, like, an alarming amount. Mm. Did you you remember now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and they would die in mysterious ways. Like, some of them would be drug overdose, and then some of them were, like, metal being in their system, and, like, they would say natural causes. Yeah, it's super creepy. And they think that it was just... A, I think they th said it was part of the Illuminati. 
I don't know. I can't remember. I remember hearing about that though. You know, the other day there was a recall on chicken because there was metal found in it. That's Ooh. what it was? Like a couple of days ago, yeah. That was a Walmart meat thing? I don't know. No, that's totally There's different. There's chicken everywhere. But. Whoa. Oh, and just for like disclaimer purposes like when we discuss conspiracy theories it's up to you guys to decide what you believe and what you don't it's just for entertainment purposes and of course we could have a lot of wrong facts but yeah so definitely like fact check us and look them up yourself too yeah look into it because they're really interesting even if even if you don't believe them they're really fun to think about Like Shane this. Dawson's videos are very, very, very good oh, covering yeah. conspiracy theories. When we're at work, we can binge watch all of his conspiracy videos. <laughs> mm. This is so good. It was really good. I'm getting full. Me too. I think this is going to be my last breadstick and then I'm good. <coughs> You have to finish it. Ah. He was a wizard. <laughs> mm. What other good conspiracies are there? Oh my god, so many. So, mm. so many that I can't think. One really good one. It's kind of dumb, but... I don't know what you're gonna say. The Chuck E. Cheese one? Oh, no. So, there's a conspiracy theory that Chuck E. Cheese um, does not make their pizza fresh. Oh. They'll take pizza off of, like, when people leave, if they hadn't finished their pizza, they'll take those good pieces and then they'll put a whole pizza together. They'll just take random pieces, put them together, put a little bit of cheese on top, and warm them up. Um, that's actually another Shane Dawson video where he actually goes to Chuck E. Cheese and proves that they do it. And there's pictures of how, like, <clears throat> when they're cut, they're so uneven and <clears throat> none of the lines the match lines up. The lines don't match up. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, they, they, like, mix and match, so, like, a cheese and pepperoni pizza. So yeah. they could cook a whole pepperoni pizza out of cheese and then... Cut right down the center of but both they, of them. But the one that was the messiest was their pepperoni pizza. Like, they would have lines. You know how it goes across the whole pizza? There would be half of a line through half of the pizza, and then there'd be no line on the other side. Can you get a plate and a butter knife? Yeah. Another one for the cup. Oh, plate. Oh, plate and a butter knife. So I can cut mine in half. Mm. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna have oh. to be my last one. So full. It's bag? really, really hard to get back to eating the way we used to when we've been so good about eating portions and healthy foods. So, this was actually really hard for me to do. I'm kind of sweating. <laughs> There's no more butter knives. Okay, that's fine. Oh. And. Once people start watching this, let us know what topics you want to talk us, us to talk about. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Our dessert for the day. <laughs> Cupcakes. Ooh, I got marshmallows. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me get the wrapper off. Mm. Yeah, we'll show you what the insides look like. Oh, that sounded weird. Mmm. The insides. Mmm. Hers is death by chocolate. And mine is marshmallow. I'm making a mess. That's what mukbangs are all about. So these cupcakes are actually filled, and they fill them with. So mine's probably gonna have marshmallow filling, and hers has like a chocolate cream feel filling. <laughs> Both of them fell over at the same time. Mm. Oh my goodness. Good stuff, I don't know. <laughs> I guess you can't really see wow. the inside of mine super well, but that's the marshmallow. Mm. Ooh, this is really chocolatey. Mm. Oh. 
Hmm. Uh, Any other conspiracy theories, Clay? Oh yeah. <laughs> Please share. I think this whole world is nothing but a computer-generated world. That's just... one of the harder ones for me to believe, but it would be trippy if that was real. Mm. You believe it? I think I believe in like parts of it, just considering like there's videos that show what they call like glitches in the matrix or whatever he describes it as. Um, where like the one that creeped me out was there's a video and they were doing an interview and this guy like was staring at the camera not moving after they introduced themselves not moving like it didn't even look like he was breathing and he was just staring at the camera and they said that it looked like maybe he had glitched which is mm. creepy but it also could be like see i believe more in the clone theory so or like robots even which that could explain why there was a glitch or true well what you know what's weird is that you know we might be in a tube in a laboratory somewhere else just like Ew. an experiment mm. you know please elaborate i've never heard that an mm. experiment of like i don't know but and like just... just our brains are imagining our world is that what you're meaning? Mm -hmm. Okay, what do you we're, mean? We're real, but what I think would be cool if that we were like a test subject world and there's like 50 million Whoa. other different worlds out there, mm. but we're just one of the test subjects, so. Ew. That'd be cool That's shit, creepy. <sighs> you know what I mean? Whoa. So then it's like, do I really need to die? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Because I'm just in a test tube. I don't know. I'm curious to see what it's like after death. Mm. Mm -hmm. But it's probably going to be nothing now, so. I'm curious too. Yeah, but you know. Ooh, towel. I'm so full. <laughs> This is really, really hard. Almost done though. Mm. Wow. <laughs> this is really good. He's behind the camera spazzing out because he got a cupcake too. It tickles the back of my throat. Because of the sugar? Mm hmm. It's very sweet. <laughs> I think I ate way more than you. I lost track. So did I. This is what the afterlife is <laughs> right here. <laughs> this is what I imagine hell would be if I was this full all the time. Hey guys, we're pretty full, so I think that's going to be it for this video. If you want to follow us on Instagram, we're on there at Constipation Nation. And please like the video and subscribe. Much appreciated. And if you want to let us know what you want us to eat next time or conversation topics, just put it in the comments down below. And we make a video every Saturday. Yes. Every Saturday we will be making a video. <laughs> All Thanks, right. guys. Bye.